Hey guys, welcome back to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, tricks I learned um, in Cinema 4D R18 using some of the knife and uh, cutting tools that I think you'll find to be very useful. Um, so I'm just going to create a square or a cube, sorry, and let's go ahead and make it editable. And now when I go into my uh, polygon view here, polygon mode, um, and I hit K on the keyboard, you've got plane cut, line cut, and loop path cut. Um, so if you hit L, the loop path cut's gonna allow you to make uh, different cuts, cuts, and if you hold shift, it will make them into different proportional segments. So you can, you can also make a cut, and if you wanna change the percent um, you could put in something like 25% if you know you're going to make it into fourths, and then you could go to four cuts, sorry, three cuts, and you'd have this proportionally cut uh, item, and I believe you hit escape on the keyboard, and that will make that cut uh, happen for you. Um, the other thing you can do is you can uh, actually, let me go into a, uh, a different view here. Uh, if you hit K again and hit line cut, now, sorry, not line cut, there it is. Um, yeah, it is line cut, so you get this little knife tool. Um, you can actually draw out any shape that you want, um, and you can even reform the shape. Let's say you know you, know you want to make it like a, maybe it's a car door or it's a window on a building you're modeling. Um, same thing, all these points will not become active until you hit escape. So let's say that's what I want, I hit escape, and boom, now I've got that cut in my square, my cube, I don't know why I'm saying square today. And obviously, you know, if you wanted to, you could even go in and select these and melt them into one polygon. So now if that's your logo or if that's some sort of text, you can extrude it and create an object out of that. And the last one I think is the most powerful one for um, you know if you're making something that's customized, um, an item or a car or whatever you're modeling. Um, what you can actually do is uh, let's say I've got this spline and it's got kind of a unique shape, or maybe this is something I brought in from Illustrator, and I make it something like that. Okay. So in perspective view, you're going to have to do it in, in perspective view. If I select my spine, spline and I let me enable this axis for a second, and if I bring it right in front of my cube, what I can actually do is I can project this onto my cube and use that now to make a cut. So all I have to do is with spline and then cube selected, I've got to go into points mode. Okay, and then again, I'm going to select the line cut tool. And now, if you hover over any of the points of the spline and hold down your command key, they're going to see it's going to bring up these little red dots showing you where this cut would be. So I'm just holding down command or the Windows key on your on your keyboard. And once I hover over one of these points and I, points and I like it, I'm just going to click, and it doesn't look like anything happened. But let's remove our spline. I've now turned off the spline so I know that um, these are now part of my cube. So again, I'll go back to the polygon mode and look. You can see these overlapping, uh, these overlapping points. Go in, I'll remove those, click melt. And now my spline that I just had from the perspective view has basically been projected on there and I've used it to make a cut. So same thing, I can do anything I want with that. So that could be like a Nike logo or uh, pretty much any shape you want. So those are the three quick tips I have on how to make cuts in Cinema 4 RD, Cinema 4D R18. Um, I think you'll find those useful and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.